Welcome to the Bold Analysis, ladies and gentlemen. I know many of us are still in the mode of wait and see. Azmil have set up KCC as their celebration center. Perhaps they're going to do their press briefings from there. And that was just to give an idea what exactly is going on. I want us to look at Kirinyaga because the Kirinyaga gubernatorial race is emerging as a very interesting race. Uh, that it has really been a drama where it seems the contest between Waiguru and Piriti Ngirishi is having some external influence. But <laughs> within the two days, all of them have had a fair share of celebration. The previous day someone is winning, the following day the other person is also complaining. Is maybe the other person is also, is also winning. So I want us to look at it and just try to draw some conclusions or maybe what we can see, what exactly is happening in Kirinyaga. Now yesterday, Anwar Guru shared a tweet in her Facebook, in her social media pages saying, that some marked ballot papers had been uh, sneaked in Kenyanga Stalling Center in Kirinyaga. Remember, she is the incumbent governor. She has the trappings of power, but also the women rep. Pirti Ngrishi is an incumbent women rep, so she also has such maybe trappings of power, but cannot be cannot be compared to what Anwe Guru had. And Anwe Guru was calling on support. I remember she tagged Musalem Devadi. She tagged uh, William Ruto and Gadi Geshagwa. And what she was saying is that there was daylight rigging in Kirinyaga. Then later on in the evening, uh, I think everything just went on smoothly. Now today, the same issue of ballot stuffing then emerged. Where Anwe Guru, uh, where there was a vehicle that is belonging, belonging to the county government that was also caught. Uh, was spotted within a polling station in Gishugo. Uh, it was a double cabin that was also having carrying some ballot papers. Now this is a story that emerged and I want us to see the video here. Now, I need to say that Gishugu constituency became a major problem until when Purity Ngirishu arrived, they went to the tallying center and were demanding retalling of the votes. Now, I think there is a PO or the returning officer who was responding saying that they could not start the process from, um, uh, from scratch. But again, Purity Ngirishu was accompanied by the husband and uh, advocate Njiru who Ndego Njiru, who I think is, was also vying in the same place, and that is her advocate. It, it, come, it came out that, of course, 
the instances of ballot staffing seems to be the new um, strategy that was used especially on the non-presidential uh, ballots this one for governor mca mp constituency these ones are going to experience a lot because even in nairobi the results are not yet out there is relatively calm no one knows exactly what is happening who is leading who is not leading nairobi has not yet come out and you can see that there is some monkey business or monkey games that can be played because of that moment remember now the concentration is on the presidential vote so and this is when they call for the returning has been perpetrated on the vote relating to the governorship of Kirinyaga County. We are here to ask for a full retally. Remember, remember yesterday, remember yesterday there was an allegation of the reading from the person who suspects. So we are saying a retally must be done. If you want to have free time, we are on the road. Address what you are addressing. Yes, I am addressing um that is what happened in the polling station and of course it has been causing there's a, it shows that there's a lot of trouble in kirinyanga and who do you think is carrying it because it's not yet clear but there are some few issues that you can just draw from that kindly subscribe and i want to remind us about sarah atieno fundraiser we are in the home stretch of that fundraiser just five days to the end of it she's one of our subscribers who is locked in kenyatta hospital suffering acute leukemia and she reached out so we were, have been doing for the last now 16 days we've been doing a challenge at least 50 shillings donation if you cannot donate at least 50 shillings will be in a position to help her upset, offset her medical bill that is in the tune of 1 million. We are doing it as a team bold. My number is 07 uh, 10 62 78 89 Kevin Olo. You can also reach out to Sarah. Her number is 07 16 357 360. I see a rigging scheme and because the problem has been a telling in fact, I was just receiving a message today that everything might have been done on the polling day. Of course, in Nairobi here, there was a report where a presiding officer tried to give um, tried to give 
uh, a voter, more than two ballot papers, even though that was not really confirmed, but it later came out that um, th th these are some of the avenues that are being used. So there could be rigging that was done where someone is given more than one, more, maybe someone, there is a marked ballot paper, for example, I was reading one in Eldoret where someone, they went and he gives, he's given a paper, he marks, then come back, says he's been given a marked ballot paper. So probability is there is a marked ballot paper that is already there on number two. Someone's just trying to maneuver ways of getting another so that you can vote twice. So this is a possibility. But then, in Kirinyanga there is a force against Kek Waiguru. And this force is not only, the context is not just between Waiguru and Girishi, but there are also external forces. That is why you can see these schemes of ballot staffing. Because honestly, for you to execute a ballot staffing scheme, there is a weak, there is a link you need. That link is the security link. Without the security reinforcement, you cannot execute such a scheme. So I see a scenario where when Guru is getting a lot of punching from forces outside. Remember during her impeachment, she came out and said that she was facing a lot of criticism and um, uh, she was facing uh, uh, her opponents, uh, people who were in government, and she pointed out she pointed out um, 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 Karanja Kibicho. So I think uh, the candidature of Ngirishi has been captured by people that are Anway Guru's um, uh, uh, enemies. Well, Guru might have rigged Karo in 2017 from what I see. Because again, this time round, in Mount Kenya, she's the only governor that is struggling, even though even other areas is, are not yet out. But against the UDA wave, even though um, even though Pirin Ngirishi was formerly also in UDA, but I could I didn't I didn't expect her to have such much of a, a struggle to get that seat because if you tell it that with the, what the presidential uh, uh, candidate got, especially uh, Anoy Guru um, um, Mata Karua getting from Kirinyaga, you could actually see that Anoy Guru was supposed to ride on that UDA wave, but that UDA wave. Cannot, did, not, did not do much of the lifting. Most of Mount Kenya politicians have been lifted by the UDF, but to Anwe Guru, it did not do that lifting. So this is something that must not, must actually worry him. So after coming out, and Anwe Guru has been crying out, I see a Guru that has been isolated. I think at the hour of need, the deputy president has isolated Anwe Guru. Someone can ask me, how can they help? There are other MPCs and MCAs that might have been won, or even they can send structures, they can help, they can, uh, even the national, uh, uh, the, the online battalion that is working at the national team can help rescue Anwai Guru by just coming in defense and that war be won online. But even after tagging Davadi, Rigadi Ashago, William Ruto, all have gone quiet and no one is talking about it. So ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what you think, but then people from Kirinyaga can tell us what exactly is happening there. That's my bold.